Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and today I've got something very different for you guys. We're taking a look at an older game, FIFA 14, could be considered retro, I suppose. I'm going to take a look at the career mode. I know some people do this in Ultimate Team, and the biggest reason I'm doing this, I want to show you guys, from my memory as well, how career mode hasn't really changed. People always say career mode hasn't changed over the years and you could even go back further but this is the only game I could play. I don't have my Xbox 360 anymore so this is the first game on the next generation consoles so I will go in to start a new career. I imagine I will have other careers I could load Okay, <laughs> I had quite a few. I I remember now, people used to say around this time in FIFA 14 when I did these series, you always start a new series. But holy shit, <laughs> that is... A, all of these, I'm pretty sure I did on YouTube. And maybe apart from one. It could have been all of them. But to be fair, I did get fired from a couple. I think... Uh, Leon? Leon, maybe Sunderland as well. Oh, I, I can't really remember 100%. Or Bayer. Bayer Leverkusen. <laughs> I think that might have been the case. If you want me to go through those and just see how maybe different players were rated and everything like that, uh, let me know in the comments. But here, we're just going to start a new career in terms... Oh yeah, Oof. I'm, I'm just remembering all those all those different uh, career modes. Uh, but yeah, they would be either one season finished or midway through the second season. So it's not like really uh, far into a career, of course. <laughs> That's what people always used to complain about as well. I didn't go far into careers. Maybe people still complain about it now. But yeah, this is really to compare the games and see how much it hasn't even changed. So you still got the increase... Yeah, pretty simple stuff there. We'll do that. We'll advance. We'll just choose a team, uh, for example. We'll go to uh, the Premier League. We'll do Manchester United. I'll be doing a Manchester United career mode again in FIFA 17. So take a look at the team there. Oof, there's some names there, aren't there? <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter about all these options, but there's still... All these options are pretty much... Uh, so, uh, yeah, similar. There's not too much difference, but yeah, we'll just enter European competitions, uh, draw with the seeded teams, uh, with more realistic teams. Is it realistic? <laughs> Manchester United's in the uh, Champions League. Wait, no. Confirm the changes. See, all that, all that kind of stuff is the same. And yeah, we'll just head into... Okay, squads have been reset to the defaults. The, 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 squad, nah, squ the squads don't really matter. Uh, matter. Uh, we don't need to change any details. Okay, the introduction. Welcome to EA Sports. Okay, well, we've introduced a brand new way of playing. Oh, brand oh, this is when the GTN got added. I hated that. I miss searching for a player by rating. Like, oh, man. sure, that made it easier. But it was so simple, and this made the game worse, and it's still there, and it hasn't changed. This is what I mean, GTN. Apart from, like, the different background, I actually like this darker, uh, kind of, how the game looks. Um, yeah, the display of it. But, this GTN, see, they're showing this new feature here. This is what EA do. They add features, and don't improve them. Like last year, what did they add? They added the training and pre-season tournaments. I suppose pre-season tournaments, you can't really do too much about. They're, there's not much more to add. They're fairly simple. But training, as far as I know for FIFA 17 career mode, it hasn't been touched. And that's probably not going to be t touched for about five years. It's going to be the same in like FIFA 22. <laughs> if I'm still here making uh, videos in FIFA 22. Oh, see, yeah, look how many I had. <laughs> I can really understand now. People said I start a lot of series. Um, I really understand that. Uh, so I just have to overwrite one, I suppose, just the Liverpool backup. I can't. I, I didn't even spell backup correctly, and Liverpool has two P's. What the hell was I doing? I'll just do, yeah, just call it a test or something. But yeah, I'm already mad <laughs> because EA, yeah, uh, like. I want to get my hopes up for this year, but I know I will be let down. All right, the features probably won't be major. So, again, here. It's the same 
Like, layout. It's just, there's nothing different. There's six messages in the office. I think that's the same. Domestic cup objective. Important transfer market information. Um, scout. GTN. Introducing myself. Introducing the global transfer network. Nanny injury update. That's not a surprise. <laughs> Nanny was injured. Uh, league objective. They're like this. Uh, they're even worded the same. Pretty much every single message. There's you stuff. Th- this it hasn't been touched. Just slight graphical uh, graphical changes, but apart from that, it's all the same. Th- this feels like I'm almost gonna record. Like you no know what? Like Fever Sixteen is dead for me. I um I haven't touched Fever Six Fever Sixteen like for the last month. I've played it probably a handful of times. Well, last two months, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah. Like, I don't play it for fun. I only play it for my videos. So, yeah, not that into it. But, yeah, everything here is the same. We go... Like, all the boxes where everything is, it's exactly the same. Squad report. Yeah, like... You can't see any changes, obviously, because you just uh, set up the career mode. But, it's just... Sh- like... You know it hasn't been improved, but when you see it, it's shocking how this, how similar it is to FIFA 16 career mode. So I'm not going to advance or anything like this. It's just because this is as much to it. There's not much <laughs> else to career mode. Not much happens. You just go to the games or you go through preseason. Uh, the transfer windows, you make transfers, then you play the games. There's some uh, legends in there like Rio Ferdinand for Manchester United uh, the squad screen, yeah, pretty much simple. When Van Persie uh, was amazing, go to his skill attributes. Uh, but this, yeah, this video is not for reviewing players and seeing how they looked, everything. Just to show you how the same it is. Everything, the office, it's all, I'm pretty sure it's all the same options. There's the inbox, contracts, use staff, the settings, browse jobs, request fun. There's, there's nothing else apart from the new features. Like I said, the training and also how they're not really touching training. They haven't improved it for FIFA 17. They they said they haven't anyway. They'll, well, they haven't said anything about it. But again, like the fixtures and everything here, it's just, again, it's presented the same. It's just, again, the different background uh, with the stadium and everything like that. It's darker. But apart from that, nothing. Especially the, like, tran- Oh, man, this is the biggest thing. Transfers are the biggest thing in career mode for me. And majority of people. Transfers. So they should be really... Uh, that should be the number one focus for EA to improve. Of course, a lot of other things as well to be added. But, yeah, you can't expect too much in career mode. But transfers needs to be more. Needs to be more. This is when it was added, like you saw before. GTN. In FIFA 14, and I've read, like, Foothead, uh, they played FIFA 17, and pretty much transfers are the same. So it's going to be this same screen again. Three years in a row. That's not good enough. And sorry if I'm getting a bit fired up, but I'm passionate about career mode. It's been my favorite mode for years. I I, I played it before Ultimate Team, that's why it is my... I've enjoyed... Uh, Ultimate Team in spurts, I suppose you can say. Some years I really enjoy. I think FIFA 11, FIFA 12, I really enjoyed it. But when it started to get bigger on YouTube, like Ultimate Team and packs and everything like that, yeah, kind of lost a bit of interest in it. And you know I've been making career mode videos, so that's a big reason. But yeah, this, it baffles me. Really. I'm not sure what you guys will have to say on the subject, but yeah, transfers are the biggest thing. Again, I'm not sure if you agree with me or not, but I absolutely love the old system when before the GTN. Like, did people suggest this? Global transfer network. You hire a scout and you send them, and it's the same. Yeah, experience, judgment. See, oh my god, I'm not sure what else they could add, but it's the same. Like, selecting the regions. It's not like they can invent more countries or something, but... Add more to it. Make it more in-depth, but it's the same. You just send him. You send him where you ever want him to go. I don't know. Where should we send this guy? We'll send him to... I'm from Australia, so let's say... Uh, yeah, there. Send to Australia. He's not going to find any good players, but that's just the example. Just the instructions. The instructions, all the instructions are the same. 
the position, attributes, age, all that contract. Add some more fucking options, Khan. Sorry if I'm getting angry. Sorry if I swear, but... And YouTube's probably going to ban me forever, so if this is my last video... Uh, yeah, might, <laughs> might as well be to, to improve career mode. And all the attributes, that, again, I'm pretty sure they're all the same ones as well. Oh, dead, man. Dead. Ugh. I just want career mode to be much better. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you guys are going to think about this. Oh, the, the, to me, the biggest thing going this is the throwbacks. Like Simone Scafe, that's oh, all these players that were gems, I suppose, in older games. So, yeah, leave your comments if you would like to see more of this, oh, like an old school game. Retro FIFA, I suppose. This is the oldest one. I actually found my FIFA 11 disc, but I may have my Xbox 360 somewhere, but, oh, yeah, it's not really a point of setting it up and all that. Uh, will take too long. Um, I'm not sure, <laughs> yeah, if that's possible. Uh, anyway. So, that is going to be it. Leave your thoughts. So, this is a career mode, more or less, three years ago now. When the game was released, it was in... 2013 but this is on the next gen that came out when it was like january or something i remember getting in january anyway it was late january or early february <laughs> i can't remember exactly but either way i'd love to see your comments on what you feel about ea towards career mode and as i've said already like people always say um, and people know it that ea haven't touched career mode but when you just when you play it when you look at it like this it's just, oh man, it's it's really disappointing. And like I said with the transfers, transfers are one of the biggest things for me. But the screen is exactly the same. Search for players. You can't search by rating. Obviously, uh, some people like the GTN. I'm not sure how many don't, but I'm one that doesn't. I just love that the simplicity of it. Like, Ultimate Team, you can search um, kind of in similar ways, like by bronze or silver or gold players. But it's exactly the same. The biggest part of the mode is the same for the past three years. And that is not good enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit rant-like, <laughs> which I didn't intend. I just wanted to take an old school uh, yeah, FIFA game, take a look at it. But yeah, I'd love to see your thoughts in the comments. Maybe if you're a YouTuber yourself, make a video. And if, yeah, if that actually uh, kind of, uh, we could send them to EA with a lot of videos to kind of spark that. That was, again, that was an intention of that. Just thought in my head, uh, there's something has to be done. I know a year ago or something was the hashtag change career mode. And after all that, uh, we got a training mode that is probably not going to be touched for four, four or five years. Uh, probably won't be adapt. Um, uh, adapted to, if that makes sense, <laughs> I don't know. and pre-season friendlies, all that, so something bigger needs to be done for mine, but anyway, that's going to be it for now, drop a like if you agreed with what I said in this video, and if you feel the same way as me, and I'll see you guys next time.